Vincent and Matthias. Josh, you gonna win? Yeah, I'm gonna win. <laughs> no, because I'm gonna win. <laughs> Getting ready for bingo. Increase your money. Don't tell me how many, but you'll tell my excitement. 
bring it in on the dance floor. This cruise, you can dance like no one's watching, sing like no one can hear you. Because what happens on a ship stays on a ship. <laughs> Pretty. I don't remember the same stuff in it because it wasn't blue last time. But that's good. It looks good. That's cool. That's a real old tour. Thank you. Woo! Hang on, Jeff. Well, folks, welcome on into the Love and Marriage Show. Now, I know most of y'all probably already know what this is, but for those of you who do not know, tonight we are going to be getting three couples up here on the stage. We're going to be looking for the most newliest of newlywed couples. We're going to be looking for a couple that is very experienced in love and has some big years up there. And of course, we are going to be looking for a couple somewhere in the middle. Now, what better way to get started than with our newliest of newlywed couples. So if you were married within two years or less, I want you to stand on up for me. Married two years or less. Two years or less, stand on up. Stand on up, all our newlyweds here. There we go. And welcome to the show. Good evening everybody and welcome to Love and Marriage. Give me a cheer if you're in love. <laughs> Well, love makes the world go round, and tonight, everybody, I'll be playing the role of Cupid. Yeah. Or the late, great Jerry Springer. We'll see how the show goes. <laughs> now, tonight, I've got eight questions. We've got two couples so far, and an audience ready to have some fun. Look, we've got our longest married couple here. Let's give them a big round of applause. Look at that. And on this side, our most recent married couple. Look at that. It's like looking in a time machine. Now, we are going to find the middle couple right now. Now, Carnival Jubilee, Love makes the world go round. Love comes in all different shapes and sizes, okay? Love comes in all forms. It's open to anybody to take part. There's just one rule. It's called love and marriage. So you need to be married. You don't even need to be in love. You just need to be in marriage. So, give me a cheer if you want to be our third and final couple. <laughs> For a first, Bob, we need your opinion. Okay, Bob, what would you say the secret is to a happy marriage, Bob? Yes, ma'am. Okay, there we go. <laughs> now, Bob, get your cabin number name there. Janice, I've got a pen just here for you. Janice, I need you to put your name there and your cabin number. Your name there, cabin number there. Make sure your cabin number's right. Make sure your cabin number's right, Janice. I'll be over at midnight. Okay. <laughs> Time to be our next married couple. You look fantastic, mate, all dressed up. What's your name, darling? Diana. Nice to meet you, Diana. My mum's called Diana. There we go. <laughs> I'm getting flashbacks. Now, Diana, where are you from? <laughs> Of okay, cool, nice, brilliant. Uh, what's your husband's name? Jeff. What's his name? Jeff. Jeff, Jeff. Yeah. And how long have you and your uh, future ex husband been together? <laughs> We've been together 13 years. Today's our 10 year anniversary. Now. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Yeah, you've been married 10 years. Fantastic. And you're from Texas, right? Yeah. Give me a yee haw, will you? Yeah. I knew it was you in the cabin next to me. <laughs> Jeff, what's the secret to a happy marriage, buddy? Letting her win. Yeah, I'm lifting her head over heels like a kimbo in the sky. Okay, well done. Please give it up for our middle couple tonight. It's time to meet our newlyweds. Okay, what's your name, sweetheart? Sydney. Sydney, and where are you from? Oklahoma. Oklahoma, okay. 
Wow, look at that, Ed. Is that your grandparents? Sydney. <laughs> How long have you been married for? Um, for 11 days. 11 days. Oh, she's already counting, bless her. 11 days. What's, uh, what's the secret to a happy marriage, would you say? Um, communication, for sure. Yeah, communication, okay. And uh, what's your husband's name? Jared. Jared, okay. When Jared's not on a cruise ship, what does he do? He's my stay-at-home dad. Oh, are you really? Nice one. You got a sugar mama. Okay. Jared, what do you do, man? I do spectral gamma ray logging in the oil industry. That sounds I, I really, home, really boring. I work from home mainly. Yeah. Okay, cool. Nice one. Nice one. But how long have you been together before you even got married? Ten months. Really? Uh, I asked her to marry her after 46 days. Wow. Whoa! Okay, give it up for our newlyweds. Nice one. Jared, what would you say the secret to a happy marriage, man? I would say. Uh, yes, man. Seven days a week. <laughs> <laughs> I want you that tired, buddy. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Carnival Jubilee, we are nearly ready to play Love and Marriage. But before we do, I think it would be a lovely idea. And tonight, as you can all see, we've got husbands versus wives. Now, we don't all the time. Love is open to anybody. Love makes the world go round. It's one of the best things about cruising. But tonight, we've got husbands versus wives. Some of the questions tonight will just be for the husbands. That's when, ladies, you're going to have to write down what you think your husband will say. You're going to have to be telepathetic. It's easy. Now, the more matches, the more times you agree, the more points you'll make. But as all of our couples know out there, being married, sometimes it's not always easy to agree. Now, before we start the show, I think it would be a lovely idea if husbands, you just gave your wives a little kiss. Go on, give them a little kiss. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, a kiss. <laughs> ah. There we go. Carnival family, you just witnessed the final kiss of their cruise. Give it up for tonight's couples in love and marriage. It is showtime. Now, for the rest of the game show, couples, you can no longer talk to your partner. You can no longer look at your partner, touch your partner, and you cannot turn around, okay? No discussing the answers or talking. Enjoy the peace and quiet. <laughs> Question number one is nice and easy. I would like to know when and where was your first ever date? So, couples, you two, you should get this 10 months ago. I want as many details as possible. If you went for food, what did you eat? If you went to the movies, what did you see? What were you wearing? What time of year was it? Where was it? So, when and where was your first date? You two, 10 years ago. You two, after over half a century, nearest state and decade, I'll give you a point. <laughs> so, Bob, when and where was your first date with Miss Janice? Bob. <laughs> you just write it down if you can, as many details as you can. If you get it right, Bob, they'll be going wild and crazy, I promise. I don't know when it was, but it was in black and white. <laughs> <laughs> right, question number two. Here we go. For the rest of this question, once again, you cannot look at each other. For question number two, it's nice and easy. I would like to know, what is the love of your life? What is your soulmate, your husband or wife? What is your partner wearing tonight? <laughs> easy. Should be easy for you. Don't worry, Jared. Not everybody dressed up. <laughs> you two look like supermodels. You got this. And Janice, you should get this. Whatever you laid out on the bed for Bob to wear. He <laughs> put it straight on. Time for question number three, everybody. Here we go. Now, this one's for the husbands. Ladies, you're going to write down what you think they will say. Now, boys, your wife is absolutely perfect. They fell from the sky, they landed in your life, and ever since then, they have been your soulmate. They were sculptured by angels. They are the epitome of perfection. But if you could change one thing about your wife, what one thing would you change? So, if you could change one thing about your wife, what one thing would you change? So, Bob, I know it's too late, but Bob, if you could change, Bob, one thing about your wife, if you could change one thing about Janice, what one thing would you change? Just one thing, Bob. <laughs> Bob Carnival Jubilee, time for question number four. This one is a music-based question. Now, husbands, 
I need you to cast your minds back, boys. I need you to remember the moment you first set eyes upon the love of your life, your beautiful wife. The moment you first looked at your soulmate. Suddenly, the universe collided. The world span the right way. Fireworks went off. The chemistry was electric. You were like two magnets. Nothing would stop you being from the woman you love. But I would like to know, out of the following four songs, boys, what was it that you were first attracted to about your wife? Was it song number one? Here we go. Was it her sexy eyes? Was it song number two? Here we go. Was it her hot legs? Was it song number three? Or was it song number four? Come on, everybody, clap your hands. Here we go. I've got a lovely bunch of <laughs> One, two, three, or four. Was it her sexy eyes, her hot legs, her fat bottom, or her coconuts? So Bob. Oh, Bob heard that one. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know exactly what I mean, yeah. Up on the tree. Maybe not anymore, but you know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> Time for our next question, question number five. This one is for the husbands. Boys, I need you to imagine you missed the ship. We set sail without you, and suddenly you're stuck, stranded, marooned, deserted, in an island in the middle of nowhere. You're surrounded by the jungle, you've got no phone, you've got no water, no fire, no shelter, no food, you've got no way of getting home, and you are naked and afraid. And then suddenly, out from the jungle trees, there's a rustle in the bushes, and out steps the most terrifying, horrendous, scary, nasty, ugly member of your wife's family. <laughs> and I would like to know, fellas, who would you least like to spend time alone with? <laughs> Ladies, you're going to write down who you think they will say. Time for our next question. Now, this one is my favorite question, okay? Ladies, this one's for you. Boys, you're going to write down what you think they will say. Girls, I need you to cast your mind back. Our first sea day on board the Carnival Jubilee. You're sitting in your cabin. It's our captain's elegant evening. You're doing your hair, doing your makeup. You've got a glass of Prosecco. Your outfit's on the bed. And your husband is in the shower. You're making yourself look beautiful for an elegant night on board our ship. Then suddenly, the bathroom cabin door swings open. Hot steam cascades through the room, setting it alight into an erotic flame. Your husband steps out of the shower in nothing but a towel. He walks to the middle of the cabin. It's a big cabin. You're on the Royal Caribbean ship. <laughs> Your husband stands in the middle of the room in nothing but a towel, and suddenly it drops to the floor. The towel. <laughs> yeah, right. Your husband stands there completely naked, and I need you to describe him as one of the following wonders of the world. Are they the Great Wall of China? Massive, and breathtaking, and almost visible from space. <laughs> Are they the Roman Colosseum? A once great sight, now just an old decrepit ruin. <laughs> but still worth a visit when in Rome. Are they the Statue of Liberty? A long, hard standing monument that everybody deserves to see. <laughs> or are they the Hollywood sign? Everybody wants to see it. They all want a picture. But after all these years, it could just no longer stay up. One, two, three, or four. The Great Wall of China. The Roman Colosseum. The Statue of Liberty. <laughs> or the Hollywood sign. One, two, three, or four. Fellas, you're going to write down what you think your wife will say, not what you would like her to say. <laughs> Ni hao, Jen. Okay. Time for question number seven. Okay, folks, now, you're all together, you're in love. The room is full of normal people just like you, and they're all in love too. And we want to know, out of all the years you've been, all the months you've been together for, we would like to know, 
Where is the most exciting, adventurous, unusual, crazy, wild, most surprising, messy, risky, out there place you've ever had a bit of a kiss and a cuddle, a bit of a mum and dad a pillow fighting, a bit of grown up wrestling, a bit of ooh la la, a bit of romance, a bit of hanky panky, a bit of a bit of a bit of tonight, tonight, let's refer to it as ice cream. So where's the most unusual, exciting, adventurous place you've ever had a bit of ice cream? And I'm not talking soft serve, Jen. <laughs> Ice cream, you know what I mean? <laughs> I hope it's not back in a Robbins. <laughs> so Bob, out of all the years you've been with uh, Miss Janice over there, where's the most unusual place you've ever had a bit of ice cream? Time for our final question, everybody. Now, before the show, I received a phone call. I got a phone call from a Hollywood producer. Yeah? They said, hey, cruise director Louis, we want to make a movie about the winning couple's love life. And as we all know, Carnival Jubilee, every single movie needs an incredible soundtrack. So, couples, which soundtrack, which song would be the soundtrack to your love life if they turned it into a movie? Would it be song number one? Would it be all night long? Would it be song number two? Sounds it only take a minute. Song number three. I'll do anything for love, but I'm not doing that. Or is it song number four? <laughs> there we go. One, two, three, or four. Thank you very much, Eddie. Is it all night long? Does it only take a minute? Would you do anything but laugh, but you won't do that? Or is it here I go again on my own? So, Bob. Oh, he's got this one. You're the man, Bob. You are. So, what? So, number one, if they made a movie about your love life, like, you know, Fifty Shades of Grey, seen that one. If it was like that, then the music plays in the background in the romantic sequence. What song would play? Would it be All Night Long? All night long, all night, hey. Would it be, it only takes a minute, girl. Would it be, you do anything but love, but you're not doing that, so stop asking her. Or is it here I go again on my own? <laughs> or riding solo for our younger viewers. Okay. There we go. Carnival Jubilee, we have got our answers down. But before we find out what our wonderful couples put down, it takes a special kind of person to take part in tonight. And they've made us laugh already so much. So please, put your hands together for tonight's couples in love and marriage. They get a match, give a nice little R and a round of applause. One, two, three. Aww. However, if they get one wrong, we're going to give them a nice 90s game show buzzer. One, two, three. Aww. Let's play Love and Marriage. Question number one. When and where was your first date? We'll come to you two last as it was well over six decades ago. Okay, right. <laughs> Five decades. Our newlyweds, here we go. Uh, Jared, when and where was your first date, buddy? Uh, it was Oklahoma City, June 29th. Uh, 2024, and it was, oh, I'm sorry, 2023. 2023, yeah. Uh, Don't worry, the tax last night. <laughs> yeah? Uh, it was Ferris wheel, mini golf, and a canal ride downtown. Wow. Canal ride, Ferris, and mini golf. You got a hole in one? <laughs> you got five hole in ones in your first date, you show off. Okay. And you took it down the canal. Sydney. <laughs> Too. You literally made the same mistake. <laughs> Look at that. Both stupid. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Carnival Jubilee, that was so many details, exactly the same. 
Sydney's also got Ferris wheel, boat, mini golf, June 29, 2024. Carnival Jubilee, that is well and truly done. That's how it's done. Let's see. Big Jeff. September 2011 at Twin Peaks. At Twin Peaks. What's Twin Peaks? It's a place like Hooters, but way more risque. Oh, this is it? Okay, nice. And were you working there at the time? Or? I was not. No, no okay. She should have. No. <laughs> okay, Diana. Um, Jeff's apartment, he made me dinner, and I Jeff, might be off on it in the year. Jeff's apartment, you put 2010, he made you dinner. Mm -hmm. So who did he take to Twin Peaks? <laughs> he took you to Twin Peaks. The next day. The next day. <laughs> hey, babe, can we go breakfast? Twin Peaks? Okay, <laughs> what did he make for dinner? Yeah, okay. And, and he bought me wine, and I could, I thought it was the most expensive wine. Yeah. Um, to make him buy me. And yeah. he did. And dessert? Peas. Did you have dessert? No. no. <laughs> did you get dessert? Did he? Yeah. Okay, there we go. We're standing out of it. Okay, here we go. Bob. When and where? Yeah, that is incorrect. Break it up, you two. It's a game show, not therapy. Okay. You can keep the papers, they'll stand in the court of evidence of divorce. Okay. Bob, when and where was your first date with Miss Janice? It was a movie date, movie in Vernon, Texas in 1965. Now, Bob, do you remember the movie? Who's watching? <laughs> Janice. Yes, it's movies in Vernon, Texas, probably in 1965. That is a match. Wow! Well done, Bob, well done. Now, Janice, I've got to ask, I've got to ask. You two, you've been together 60 years now, nearly. Uh, that's kind of when you met. When Did Bob have to come and ask your parents to take you out on a date or ask them to marry you? How did it work? Did you meet just after high school? How did it work? Well, I was in high school. You were in? Oh, the plot thickens. Well, you were in high school. He was in college. He was in college, okay, yes. yeah. Yes. And did he have to come around and ask your parents to maybe take you dancing and things no, like that? No, he asked me for a date and I wouldn't go out with him. Really? No, and he waited a year and called me back and I decided to go. Oh, good to you. I've got to ask because I'm obsessed with romance and people lasting forever. I think it's wonderful. I'm getting married this time next year. I've got a fiance, yeah. She works on board. She's a singer on the ship. Not on their ship, but she's a singer. <laughs> this is a surprise. She's a she, everybody. <laughs> She is a girl. You lost that bet. I just dressed nice. She's a girl. But um, we're going to marry this time next year. And I went and asked the parents and did all that. And I think it's so amazing that you two have managed to last forever. So it really is brilliant. Yeah, good for you two. That is a match. Well done. Okay, we'll stick with you two. What is your partner wearing tonight? Bob, what's Janice wearing tonight? A green dress. Got some orange on it. Do you think she's got any shoes on? Yeah, Sparky. Yeah, Bob! Bob, you are a romantic man. Janice, what have you dressed Bob in? Uh, shorts and a pink t-shirt. Yeah, he looks fantastic, he really does. Well done, that is a match. Okay, over to you two. Jeff, what has Diana got on? She's got on an orange dress. It's got some white little things on it with black dots. <laughs> that is very She's yeah. also not wearing any underwear, but... <laughs> okay, there we go. Diana, I will need proof. Okay, I'm joking. I'm joking. Diana, what's Jeff got on tonight? On it. <laughs> he has on his last life, that's what he's on. A gray shirt with a black three-piece suit. Yeah, he does, spot on, well done. It's a very nice shirt. And a... Ross, dressed well for less. <laughs> okay. He spent all his money in Twin Peaks, okay. Jared, what has Miss Sydney got on tonight? She's got my black pants, my champion sweater, and I also put no panties. <laughs> okay, there you go. Sydney. Jared has on black sweats and navy champion hoodie, black pumas and a black hat. Yeah, there we go. Spot on. Sydney for a bonus point once his blood type, social security and pin number. No, I'm joking. Okay, time for our next question. I asked our couples if they could change one thing about the love of their life, their current wife. What one thing would they change? Sydney, what do you think Jared would change about you? 
um, I know for a fact he would change me being on time. Are you a bit late sometimes? Yeah. After just 11 days? Yeah. Were you on time for the wedding? No. <laughs> it, wasn't me, it wasn't me, but it was, we were late. It was just slightly later than not, and then it should have been. Okay, okay, let's find out. Jared. Uh, the fact that we were always late, usually because we're sleeping in. Yeah, there we go. That is a match. Well done. There we go. Okay. Diana. Always late. O always late as well? Yes. Always late. Okay. Uh-uh. <laughs> always being late. Is, oh, is not what you put. No. <laughs> I would like her to stop doing that, but... Uh, <laughs> Stop doing Botox injections. <laughs> you look beautiful, you look beautiful, don't worry. You look very surprised, but you look beautiful, okay. <laughs> now, at the start, I'm glad you clarified, because uh, you, you originally put stop doing injections. But yeah, stop, that's okay. That's, you haven't done around at least six months. Yeah, you look amazing. You look, for an 83 year old woman, you look fantastic. <laughs> You went to school with Janice. Okay, right. <laughs> okay, Miss Janice. What do you think Bob would change about you? Okay, that's what I would think he would what say. What do you think he would change about you? Okay. I think he would say nothing. Nothing? Nothing. After 60 years, nothing, nothing. right? Nothing. 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 He'd do it all again. Let's find out. Bob, what would you change about Janice? Well, I put toes because she's got the... <laughs> The second toes longer than the first. <laughs> okay, so she claims she claims because her second toes longer than her front. She's the boss. Okay. That's the fact. She can also peel bananas like a monkey. The girl. Okay. <laughs> you drop the TV remote in bed, don't you? Go. Don't worry, Bob. <laughs> Only thing you're turning on. Right. Well done. You got wonderful toes. Look at that. You look like you're doing that to me. You look like, you look like you're flipping me off. Okay, right. <laughs> Time for question number four. Now, next up, I asked you what were you most attracted to about your partner, about the love of your life? Was it their sexy eyes? Was it their hot legs? Was it their fat bottom? Was it their coconuts? Or was it their toes? Let's find out. Okay. <laughs> Sydney, what do you think Jared was first attracted to? I Number three. Number three. My butt, because your teeth weren't on there. Your teeth weren't on there, so butt. Okay, butt, okay. Okay, butt. It definitely was her smile, but that wasn't an option, so I put fat bottom. You put fat bottom, that is a match. Well done. That is a match. Okay, here we go, you two. What do you think he's going to say about you? Well, I really don't know at this point. <laughs> Jeans that were sparkly, so my butt. Yeah, so you're gonna say your butt? My butt. Okay, your butt. Okay, here we go. Jack. We got this one right, number three. She had some sparkly jeans and her ass looked awesome. Okay, butt. <laughs> okay, that's the match, that's the match. I'm gonna say coconuts. So well done. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Oh, okay, Miss Janice, what do you think Bob was first attracted to about you, sweetheart? I, I just hope I understood the question correctly. <laughs> I think you did. Oh, coconuts. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Bob put coconut. He put coconut. All right, stop milking it. Okay. <laughs> Speed can motion with those. Right. Carnival family, time for our next question. Well done. Okay, right. You're stuck, stranded, marooned, deserted on an island in the middle of nowhere. Who do you think your partner would least like to be stuck with? So, Janice, who does Bob hate spending time with? Donna. Do no. No. <laughs> Donna, okay, who's Donna? Donna. She's the devil by the sounds of it, okay. Bob? Her sister, Donna. Donna! <laughs> Donna, get that straight in there. So is that uh, Donetta's other sister? Yeah, so uh, Donna and Donetta. Imagine it's the name there. Okay, Donna and Donetta. How many brothers and sisters do you have? I have the two sisters. Yeah. And any brothers? No, no. 
No, you three girls. Okay, there we go. Okay, so at least you're the one he likes, man. <laughs> <laughs> Is Donna not on the cruise? Is Donna on the vacation? No. No, okay, there we go. Okay, here we go. Diana. My Uncle Ocus. Your Uncle Ocus, okay. Uh -oh. Ocus Pocus. <laughs> Jen. Well, I really hope this isn't being recorded. Um, cause they're getting on the cruise right when we get off. Her mom. Her mom. Her mom. Are they staying here next week? They are, yeah. Are you staying here next week? No, I'm not. Ah, that would be good. I, no, but you know what I will do? I, tell me their cabin number. I'm leaving with you. I'm going home with you. Well, I'm not going home with you. Although, oh, it better be a bit of fun. But I'm, uh, I go home with you, but if you give me their cabin number, I'll make sure there's a nice surprise in her room. Yeah. A big poo on fire or something like that. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'll put something nice in there from Jeff. I'll try and help you out. But yes, he said your mum. Okay. Here we go. Sydney. Who do you think he's going to say? Hope. 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 <laughs> yeah, you need some hope. Okay. Uh oh. Jared. Well, that would have been my first choice, but since they're no longer family anymore, I put her mother Stacia. Her mother Stacia. But yes, hope is definitely tipping her mother. Top. And did her mother come to the wedding? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, did. she's a fun person to be around in a short amount of time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was a quick wedding. There we go. Okay. Right. Come on, family. Time for our next question. I ask. Our wives, if their husband stepped out of the shower in nothing but a towel, suddenly the towel dropped to the floor, they were standing there completely naked, which wonder of the world would best describe them? Would they be the Great Wall of China, massive and breathtaking and almost visible from space? Would they be the Roman Colosseum, a once great site, now just an old decrepit ruin? Would they be the Statue of Liberty, a long, hard, standing monument that everybody deserved to see? <laughs> Or would they be the Hollywood sign? Everybody wants to see it, but after all these years, it could just no longer stay up. Okay, right. Jared, what do you reckon, buddy, young buck? Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty. Long, hard, standing monument that everybody deserves to see. <laughs> Let's find out. Sydney. Yep. Statue of Liberty. There we go. Did you two go to the beach? This group. Yeah, I thought you did. I thought I recognised you. Well, I think it was you. I saw footprints and a long line in the sand. I thought you were, <laughs> I thought you were selling seed, Jared. Okay. Here we go, Jeff. Number one, Great Wall of China. Great Wall of China. Massive and breathtaking, almost visible from space. Statue. Statue of Liberty. That's a great answer. Yeah, there we go. Long, hard, standing monument that everybody deserves to see. Well, go on then, big lad. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Okay. So, I'm really sorry. You're suddenly distracting Jack's. <laughs> He's a married man, guys. Okay, Bob. It's been good, but. Uh, I'll stay to take you down oh, my Hollywood friend. Sign. Hollywood sign, Hollywood yep. sign. Hey, well, that's all right. We're all supporting you, mate. We're all behind you, but Hollywood sign. Yep. Hey, a man of you, you've been married 50 years, Bob. You know, you can't, you can't have it all, buddy. Yeah. I'd like to. You'd like to? <laughs> Let's find out. I'm sorry, honey. Four. Hollywood sign. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But luckily you love Hollywood, right? You're going to be in the movies. Okay. Now, Bob, after 50 years, mate, do not worry. And you said you'd like to. I know that in Mexico there are a few tablets you can take and boom. <laughs> And don't be embarrassed, you won't be the only one. Fellas, anybody need one of those tablets? Put your hand in the end. Look at that, girls, they can't even get their hands up. <laughs> Somebody asked me once if I can get it over the counter. I said I can't ever take three tablets in a row. <laughs> okay. Bob, you're a legend, mate. Give it up for this couple of here, mate. Okay, next up, we want to know where is the most unusual, exciting, adventurous place you've ever had a bit of ice cream, creme de la creme, a bit of hanky panky, a bit of... Let's find out. Okay, Sydney. Okay, well we have five kids, so it's usually in our You're room. Five kids? In what? How long? In ten months? <laughs> <laughs> Mathematically, that's a, what's, it's a TV show, the quintuplets. Five kids and no television. Okay, you've got a blended modern family. Okay, I'm with you, I'm with you. So, it's usually our so how many kids do you have? You have three, and Jared's got two. Perfect. I'm good at maths, right? So that makes the five. How amazing that you've restarted and blended a family together, yeah. got married, and yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah. What's probably the most exciting thing about 
riding so far was our glamping tent on our wedding night. On the tent on the wedding night, yeah. Oh okay, no. Yeah. You could have done with those blue pills. You could have kept the tent up all night, Jared. Okay. <laughs> Jared. I wish I'd have said that, but I said the Dallas Airbnb pool hot tub. Okay. Oh, in the hot tub. In the hot tub. That's okay. The hot tub. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. Good for you two. Yeah. Have you done it on the ship? Oh, I'm well, okay, just some people doing the hot tub on the ship. I'm just saying. Yeah, okay. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Hey, Carnival's a great company. If you're going to book a romantic cruise, it's a good company to kind of do it on because, you know, you can do it on the Carnival Breeze. The dream, the celebration, the magic, the pride, the glory, the conquest, the freedom, the valor, the legend, the paradise. Although you two should probably book the Carnival Miracle. <laughs> okay, right, let's find out. Diana, what you got? In the car while he was driving to Houston. In the car while he was driving to... Oh, to Houston. Yeah, from Austin. From Austin, okay. Is that, is that a long drive? Yeah, yeah okay. I mean, it's long enough. It wasn't the whole drive. <laughs> wasn't the whole drive, okay. And uh, in the car, full tank of gas? I got pulled over. What about Jeff? Yeah. You got pulled over? Yeah. <laughs> Explain. It was just a moment. It was just a moment. By a policeman? You got pulled over by a policeman? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what did they say? What did you say? I'm pulling off the whole way. You said you were helping him with his belt. Oh. <laughs> Safety first. Check the wing mirrors. Okay. Ten and two, Jeff. Did, Ten and two. I did uh, butt dial my boss on that. Episode. You did butt dial your boss. Yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. You did it in the car. It's better. You're only going Austin and Houston. It's not that far. You did it in the car. You got pulled over, you nearly got arrested, and you called your boss. What an hour that was. <laughs> Although that was the worst five minutes of your life, okay. I didn't put that though, I put it in the hot tub at our house. In the hot tub at your house, okay, cool, nice. Look at you two, okay. There we go. Oh no. Okay, Miss Janice. Your sister is watching, yeah, she's recording, but don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry, because she's recording, I'll come to her cabin later and record her while she performs. It's only fair. Okay. Please don't put that on Facebook. Okay. My dad thinks I'm an engineer. I told him I'm in the Navy. Right, here we go. You got this. Do you want me to say it? You don't have to answer. On the hood of the car. <laughs> Coming back to you now. No way. <laughs> Good of a 72 Grand Prix. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I mean, yeah. okay, wow, that is fantastic. That's alright, you did great. In the car, there we go. On the hood of the car, there we go. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Okay. <laughs> right, we're going to go back over to you. Now, couples, Hollywood called. They're making a movie about your love life. What song would be your soundtrack? Would it be all night long? <laughs> Does it go all night long? Would it be, it only takes a minute? Would it be, you do anything but love and you're not doing that? So stop asking her. Or is it song number four? Here I go again on my own. Jared. Yeah. All night long. Oh, all night long. All night long. You know, Non-stop baby maker, all night long. You've got Statue of Liberty in the house. Okay, oh, you are a catch, mate. Yeah, and seven nights a week. Okay, I'm sticking you in the carnival fun times. Yep, I have the same one. All, all night long. long. Yes, give it up for our young married couple, guys. Hey, no matter what happens, thanks for having fun tonight. We really do wish you all the best. We really do. Well done. It'll never last. Okay. <laughs> I'm joking. Of course it will. Okay, Dirty Diana. Diana. Dirty Diana. Yes, Diana. Okay, let me ask Jeff. Jeff. Here I go again, on my own. <laughs> well, you can't have it all, can you? Can't be the Great Wall of China. What's the point of having the Great Wall of China if no one's booking a ticket? Okay, Diana. I would do anything but love, but I won't do that. And okay. it's not me. That okay. I don't want to know what you two wouldn't do, okay. You look like you did everything over there, okay. You do anything but love, but you're not doing that, Janice. They're not doing that. Okay. There we go. Janice. 
let me ask Bob. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I love you, Bob. Bob, what do you reckon? One, two, three, or four? Four. Four. Here we go again on my own. That's it, yeah. All right. Four. Four. <laughs> Favor. Couples, I need you to please stand up, couples. If you can stand in front of that heart, just hold hands for me and face our wonderful audience. Here we go, you two. You are amazing. Come and join me here, Bob. You come stand right there. There we go. Brilliant. Perfect. You two stand together, hold hands just like that. Now, folks, we are now supposed to cheer for the couple that we would like to win love and marriage. But tonight, they all came in to watch a show. They ended up starring in it and making us laugh for an hour. So can I give them all a bottle of champagne? Yeah! I'm glad you agree. Now at the start of the show, folks, I asked our husbands to kiss their wives. I made a silly joke. I said it'd be the last kiss you get this cruise. However, I think the boys did good. So, grooms, you may now kiss your beautiful brides. Yeah! Please put your hands together as they leave the stage, our young parents, Sydney and Jared. Thanks so much, guys. We appreciate it. You did great. Thanks, guys. Next up, go wild, go crazy. Our crazy couple is Jeff and Diana. And showing the whole world that love can last forever. Please put your hands together. Give it up for D. 